Alright, Shalom. I want to first start off giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. That want us unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, the men that taught us this truth through the Spirit, and peace and blessings unto the elect of the nation of Israel. This is the brother Abadia from the GMS Houston camp, and I'm here with a quick hit. This is Hebrews chapter 10, verse 23. It says, let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering. Let's examine this first part of the verse. It says, let us hold fast. And what is it saying for us to hold fast to? The profession of our faith. Okay. And let's examine that. What does it mean by let us hold fast? Mean let us possess firmly all right the profession of our faith now the word profession means loosely loosely uh it, it literally means to to declare publicly but when you break the word down on the etymology level the pro means forth and fashion means confession or to speak so what are we uh, declaring publicly or what are we uh, speaking forth? The truth of the scriptures, right? And that's our faith is meaning we believe in what we're, what we're preaching, what we're uh, out there pub publicly declaring. All the words of the other scriptures applying uh, balance to it, of course. So it says, let us hold fast to doing that, going out, teaching his word, and also putting up these lessons. Let us, uh, uh, what we possess is the power that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai has given us, all right, to go out and, and uh, uh, publicly declare this truth, whether it be in the streets or on the, uh, putting up videos on the internet. And it says, let us do that without wavering. Meaning, not being uh, 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 present as far as teaching one month, then one month you ain't nowhere to be found. Or one week you're present, then the next week you ain't really doing nothing. Okay? And, and that's a sign of a, a person that, that really don't believe. You know? Like the Apostle Tahar said, the reasons why, you know, a guy or one reason why a guy could fall out is because they're not paying attention to the prophecies. Right. So you're going out, you don't you're not you really don't know what's going on. So we bring it out when we you bring out this information. How can you believe in it when you're not seeing it, you know, seeing it? being fulfilled seeing it in the making meaning i'm talking about the prophecies you know if you're not watching for the prophecies and seeing that oh shit what's written is really taking place in this planet earth then you you lose faith or another word you can use is waver and that makes perfect sense you know so the scriptures is tell, telling us to hold fast to what we're doing which is this preaching because what is that a show of it's a show of our faith you know, without without wavering, as, as long as we doing with the using the uh, using the ingredients that the scriptures gave us to to uh, make our calling and election sure, then we good. You know, we're supposed to be watching, praying, uh, uh, studying, right? And that'll cause us not to, to waver and to continue uh, uh, going out declaring this truth to the world. Right? Let's read the next part of this verse. It says, For he is faithful that promised. Who promised? And uh, what's the promise? The promise is the, is the kingdom. And it's a lot of things that come with the kingdom. Uh, the promise is salvation. Before the kingdom is salvation, then we get the kingdom. Right? And it's a lot of different blessings that come with that. Okay? And we, if we hold fast to what we're doing, we will get it. 
that's why faith ha- uh, has to be, you know, or or not, you know, if you if you bullshitting, then you gonna waver. If you applying yourself, doing this work, then you'll stand strong if it be the Most High's will. Okay. So we see if we see the prophecies coming to pass by through paying attention to what's going on in the, in the earth. Then why wouldn't the Most High come through on the rest of what's written? You know, because we we see that there's nothing here. There's nothing here on this planet Earth for us. And in as far as under this current rulership, the only thing we have is the promises, the the, the promise of the Most High. You know, so I'm ending right there. Lord willing, this video was edifying. To the next one, Shalom.